She was a Holocaust survivor who became a health care worker and a community leader. Now she's among the victims of COVID-19. Today, Governor Murphy shared some of the remarkable story of Margaret Feldman. She was born Margaret Buchalter in Budapest and grew up in a small town near the border with Czechoslovakia. When the Nazis came, she and her parents were sent to Auschwitz. Her parents were murdered there. But she lied about her age, telling the soldiers that she was 18 and not 15, making her eligible to serve forth labor. She would survive being sent to several camps, including one return trip to Auschwitz and a death march to Bergen-Belsen. She was still just 16 and a survivor at her liberation. She would soon move to Sweden. She came to the United States in 1947 upon discovering an aunt and uncle who had moved here. Margaret would become an x-ray technician and in 1953 married Harvey Feldman, with whom she would raise a family. Their son Joseph, himself by the way a medical doctor, working in East Orange, and I spoke to him earlier today, and daughter Tina. And she and Harvey would see their children marry and give them three grandchildren. Harvey, her husband, it should be noted, is currently in Morristown Medical Center, also with COVID-19. Please, everybody, keep him in your prayers. Margaret gave us so much hope over her 90-plus years. She will be buried tomorrow, two days after the 75th anniversary of her liberation. May her memory be a blessing to her family and to us all. Margaret Feldman was also a lifelong educator who wrote a book about her experience during the Holocaust and spoke with thousands of New Jersey students over the years. She would have turned 91 in June.